In the method prepare for segue and we pass in the argument sender, the method could be a pointer to any object. For instance, it could be a UI button or even a UI switch, but in our case, it's a UI table view cell. One must be exceedingly careful when sending messages to type ID. For example, your application will crash if you try to send messages that an object or its superclass does not implement. So if you thought your sender was a UI button and you tried to send the message current title to it, that would be no good and your computer program would crash. Here we're passing a UI table view cell in and UI table view cells have the property text label. So we should be able to access this information if we send, prepare for segue, a UI table view cell object. However, UI table view cell does not know the method current title. So if we try to call that method on the argument of sender, our computer program would crash as well. So how do we figure out what type of object our sender is? We have this cool tool called introspection, which allows objects to be interrogated for details about themselves at runtime. We can use this to test if an object is kind of class and pass in an argument of class to test if an object is of that class, or we can test if it's a member of that class as well. Is member of class returns yes only when an object is exactly that class, while is kind of class checks not only that class but also its superclasses. You can even check if an object implements a method by calling perform selector on it. Notice that because NSArray and NSMutableArray can hold any type of object, introspection is a powerful tool used when calling a method on an object in an array, just to make sure it is what we think it is. So let's go ahead and in the next video we'll test out how we do introspection on objects.